Okay, I'm very happy to welcome you uh, and congratulate uh, your students on behalf of the physics department. Uh, I'm going to introduce first the, the undergraduate speaker who will represent herself and her classmates. This year, uh, they've selected Caitlin Shin to be the speaker. Uh, she is originally from Jericho, New York. Oh. As an undergraduate, she's concentrated in astrophysics. Uh, her undergraduate advisor was uh, Patricia Burkett, and she will be pursuing, after graduating from Stanford, a PhD in astrophysics at MIT. Uh, so, Caitlin, please come up. Thank you, Professor Tatru, for the introduction. Um, and also, thank you to our friends, family, and everyone else willing to bring yet another round of speeches to support the class of 2018 today. It is um, an honor for me to be speaking um, here in front of you today. Throughout my time at Stanford, a lot of people have asked why I'm a physics major, myself included. I mean, it's hard. We all know that. No one does physics because it's easy or because it's financially lucrative. Or <laughs> I certainly do. Um, so then, why physics? Two reasons. First, physics explains the world the way that I want to understand it, something that I think and hope a lot of people sitting here can understand as well. Even if, unlike the majority of them, the things that I want to study and understand are literally galaxies away. But the second and even bigger reason is that I love the physics community here. From post-physics midterm turnups freshman year <laughs> to years of peace setting and working together until night turns to day, how could we not become close-knit? And it's not just our closeness that makes me proud. We've also shown that we care about making the physics undergraduate com or the physics community as a whole accessible, <laughs> with some people here helping make the physics undergraduate women and gender minorities at Stanford Group, Pumas, such a phenomenal success in its first year. I went to a few events, and there were so many students and faculty there dedicated to making physics inclusivity a priority. It was incredible. And physics education quality has also been a priority here. The efforts of the faculty have not gone unnoticed from the implementation of active learning to changes to the project class requirements. The faculty really make themselves accessible. Um, and my life got better once I stopped being afraid of them. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, what would us undergraduates have done without the graduate students who helped us pass our classes and made us look less stupid in front of the professor? <laughs> <laughs> I've had an incredible four years here with an incredible group of people. Um, it's been years of covering all whiteboards within sight with physics work, from dorms to dining halls to varying fourth floor, even the history building. <laughs> I've worked with people who finished their physics majors in a shorter amount of time than it took for me to declare it. Um, people who make spontaneous physics puns in multiple languages, and people whose friendships are so strong, they're second only to Rick and Elvis, who, <laughs> by the way, have done so much to help us undergraduates um, for everything, especially the summer research program. So thank you for that. <laughs> the first conversation I ever had with one of my physics friends here um, my first quarter at Stanford was about why we probably wouldn't succeed in physics. Well, here we are, and independent of what paths we all choose to pursue, we all have so much ahead of us still. Thank you, and congratulations to the class of 2018.